feature that's underappreciated in AR apps is actually the flashlight. Since everything is phone based, if you don't have a lot of light, you're not able to capture the image targets to have this fully immersive experience in the dark. And so by adding an additional light to it, it makes things a lot brighter, makes the details a lot clearer, and you're able to have this AR experience regardless of the environment. Life goes up and it goes down. In this video, I'll show you how I was able to make a flashlight feature for my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality, with the Unity Game Engine. And what we're talking about is really creating a toggle that can turn a flashlight on and off, your flash on your phone, so that you can increase visibility for your mobile AR experience. At the end of the video, you'll learn how to control the flashlight on your phone with a toggle and really have your phone work as a tool for you to enhance your experience with augmented reality or with any other mobile phone experience. How to add a flashlight to your Unity app. First, go to the Unity Asset Store and search for Easy Mobile Flashlight. Download and import it into your project from the Package Manager. Create a toggle, name it Flashlight Toggle, resize it, and modify the layout of the toggle, and change the text of the flashlight. Make the check mark larger, Change the icon and change the color. Create a new C Sharp script. Add the namespace for UI. Add a public reference for the toggle called flashlight. Add a public method for the toggle. Add another method for switching the flashlight on and off. Reference the bottom method in the top. Create an if statement for the flashlight being on and another for being off. Add the script to turn on the flashlight. Add another script to turn off the flashlight. Add a log to test it in the editor. Add a vibration feature to the script for the button press. Give it a log to test it. Add the script to the main camera. Add the toggle to the script reference. In the toggle, click the plus sign and drag the main camera into the slot. Select the script and the toggle function. Uncheck is on and voila. You have a button that controls the phone camera flashlight. I was able to create this by first understanding what the purpose of a flashlight was. And so we have the flash on our camera and normally we just only use it for pictures and maybe some videos, but we never use it for trying to enhance a real-time experience that isn't recorded. And so typically the flashlight feature is only available when you have the camera on. But with AR, you're actually using the camera to enhance your experience of looking at the world. And you're creating that in an application that you actually created by yourself. And so using Unity and using some assets, you could actually take something that isn't visible in the dark in low light situations and you could use the flashlight to enhance it so that you could actually see everything and when you do you could actually see those augmentations and so you actually don't need to have a well-lit room to have a great ar experience and so a flashlight can be used to increase the visibility for the camera in low light settings so you could have a self-contained experience without having to worry about the environment messing up your experience. So it's a simple feature, but this feature has a big impact on the way we use our stuff in a variety of settings. And now time to apply what we learned with an activity. And some key steps are, we're gonna download Easy Mobile Phone Flashlight from the Unity Asset Store. We're gonna create a toggle, we're gonna to add a script, and then we're gonna connect the button to the script. And so I'll give it a try, post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. And if you're not in a hurry, go ahead and follow along as we work on this in real time. Okay, so we're in the Unity Asset Store. So as you can see, we got plenty of assets that you could pick from. And so I'll just go to Easy, Mobile, Phone, Flashlight. Like that then we'll go ahead and click it and we'll say open unity open unity editor it'll take us to a package manager and as you can see easy mobile phone flashlight and so we'll download it now we download it we'll import it and we'll import all the stuff that we need
Perfect. We'll just close it. And so with that, we're actually going to use our menu screen that we had before. And in our menu background, we'll just create a toggle. So right click, create a toggle. And with this, I'm actually going to keep the text in it. So we'll just say flash light toggle. And so we'll move it down like that. Now I'll just increase the size of it. So I'll increase the size. And that I'll make this about 100 by 100. No, we'll lower it down a little bit more. So we'll say 75 by 75. 75 by 75. Reset. that. Say eighty five, then negative forty five. That's that. Then we have our label. The label will just move it around, increase it, center, center. Let's say watch light. Yeah. The check mark. I want to make this as big as possible. And we'll actually change the check mark to a knob. And that knob will make yellow. We'll have that represent it being gold. So now it's time to create a new C sharp script. So right click, create a C sharp script, and we'll call it flash light toggle. We'll open it up. And so the first thing that we want to do, because we're using a toggle, you want to actually activate the toggle with the namespace. So namespace UI. So using unity engine dot UI. So we have that. And then we're going to actually delete the start and update function. And we're going to have a public toggle flashlight. And we'll just call it flashlight switch. So now that we have that, we're going to make a, a public method. So public void. We'll call it flash light toggle. And then in parentheses, we want to have a bool, and that's going to be is on. And so this bool, what it does is it actually mimics the the flashlight is on feature, and I'll show you that in the uh, in a second. And so with that, we'll say, we'll create a, another method. And this one is going to be called switch flashlight. So we'll have it be a public void switch flash light like that. And then this bool will be active. So we have two methods, one for the switch bool and one for the, the is on. And so what we do is actually, we're going to reference that in the top one. So we're going to say uh, switch flashlight. And then we're going to say is on like that. So now that we have that referenced, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to say if flashlight switch dot is on, 
then we'll do something. And then we'll say else if, and then we'll say the exclamation point is not. So if flashlight switch is not on. So that says if flashlight switch is not on, then it'll do something else. So now with this, we want to turn on the flashlight. So to turn on the flashlight, now that we have easy flashlight uh, mobile application in there, we'll say easy flashlight. And then we'll say dot open flashlight. We'll close that. And then here we wanted to say if the flashlight switch is not on, then we want it to turn off. We want it to be off. So we'll just say easy flashlight dot close flashlight. Like that. So now with this, the one thing that we want to do is because we don't, when we're testing it, we want to make sure that it works. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a debug log to, to make sure that it, it shows up in our inspector. So debug log, and then we'll say, uh, quote unquote, flash light. Like that. And so then we copy it. And for this one, we can say turned off. So this gives us an indicator for the debug log uh, to turn on and off. And so in this, what we could do is we could add an indicator because this is the method that we're going to be using to switch on and off. In this one, we have the switch on, uh, switch flashlight is on, and this is going to toggle on and off. And then we could say uh, a debug log up here as an indicator, but say we want to uh, have it vibrate every time we touch. We can do handle handheld dot vibrate. And that'll vibrate. And so on the debug log, we could say device vibrated. The exclamation point and so now we have our we have our uh, script here where we have you know using the namespace ui we're referencing a, a toggle and then we have a a toggle here which is for um the flashlight toggle ui and it's having the ui bool or the is on bool and so when it, when it's on it'll toggle this flashlight switch. And so when the flashlight switch is uh, on, it'll uh, have a open flashlight. And when it's off, which is this not here, it'll have a off flashlight. And so we'll save it, recompile. Go through and we'll have this camera here. We'll add the flashlight to it. And then we'll take this toggle flashlight switch right there. And then we're going to go to the toggle. We're going to create this open thing. We're going to make the main camera there. And we're going to uh, toggle UI like that. And so you'll notice this is on right here. That's the same as this other is on right here. So that's the same as this is on. And so if I turn it off, it will turn off the is on. And so when I actually press the toggle, it will actually toggle this is on. And so I'll save it. So now I'm going to open it, click play, and I'm going to press the flashlight. Notice it says flashlight is turned on, device vibrated, and then iPhone utility vibrated as well. And if I turn it off, so I'll clear, I turn it off, it says device vibrated, flashlight is turned off, and iPhone utility vibrate as well. And so there we go. That is our working flashlight. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you want to get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon.
And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord because there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool conversations. And that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects. And be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.